What's up guys, thanks for clicking on this video and watching. If you enjoy watching these videos, go down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. It would be really, really appreciated. And on top of that guys, I'm now a licensed real estate agent in the state of Missouri. I've lived here my whole life. I know the Ozarks super, super well. So if you're looking at buying some hunting property, recreational property, maybe buying and selling some houses, investment properties, please go down there and DM me. Um, I would love to work with you guys. On today's video, I got some new products and uh, I'm super, super excited to tell you guys about these products. Um, I'm just gonna give like a detailed list of the features and benefits and what I like about them and some honest thoughts of what I might not like about them. Um, and also, I'm gonna kinda talk to you a little bit about my new site setup and how I'm setting it up for hunting. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Like I said in the intro guys, I'm working with a new brand this year. Whoops. Some of the new accessories I got um, for my bow this year, I'm working with a company called Redline. You can look them up on redlinebowhunting.com, I believe. I'll link it down there if I said it wrong, but they make some really good, uh, high quality, at a decent price uh, bow accessories. So I'm just gonna kinda give you some top line features of some of the stuff they've sent me. Right off the bat is the RL1 10 inch stabilizer. tube is made of woven carbon. There's a total of three one ounce weights at the end. It's a 10 inch stabilizer and there's a front end rubber dampening system. So my thoughts on the stabilizer for just shooting it the last couple weeks. I do feel with the 10 inch stabilizer, it's definitely super top heavy um, and I have felt that I am more stable on target with this stabilizer and that's probably due to the length and just the weight that's at the end of it it just felt like i was able to steady the pin a lot easier with this stabilizer really a stabilizer is kind of a stabilizer right um, you know it is a high quality piece it feels sturdy uh, a lot of metal and carbon which i like my only question mark with the 10 inch stabilizer is how is it going to be in a saddle Am I gonna get hung up on the tree if I need to cross you know, under my saddle or over my saddle to shoot weak side? So that's gonna be my only question with this, but I don't think it's gonna to be too big of an issue. I'm, I am liking the way that it is stabilizing my shot a little bit better than with my little like four or six inch Matthews one that didn't weigh very much. So I'm gonna stick with this. The second product um, is the RL1 Carbon Three Arrow Quiver. This is an all carbon quiver. It's a total of 6.5 ounces. The total length is 18.25 inches. It fits small and large diameter arrows and it has a quick detach bracket. My thoughts right off the bat is I love the weight. It's super, super light. It's all carbon. It's got rubber. It's got rubber inside there so it's not gonna make a bunch of noise um, and they stay in really, really sturdy. It's a game changer for ground hunting for me. And the reasons for that is because when I put this on the quick, tat, quick detach system, I can set my cam on the ground without my arrow sticking into the dirt. This is, it's the small things in life for me. I, this was a huge problem for me with my old quiver because it sat too low and just the way that it sat, my arrows would be below my cams. So it would, whenever I'd be, you know, crawling around or scouting or whatever, trying to hunt a setup from the ground or something, I'd always have my bow like this because it's in the ready position and I'd pull it up and all of my knocks would be full of mud or they'd have leaves or sticks on them or something like that. So that is probably the biggest reason why I love this quiver uh, besides the weight. And I also am really, really liking this quick detach system. It's super simple. Um, it was easy to install. I installed it right on this site, which I'm gonna talk about next. It just slides in and then locks down. And I mean, it is secure on there. 
I don't see that. I mean, you could probably hang your bow from that for sure. Not a problem. So, you know, the only kind of downside, if you will, that I see about this is that it is only three arrows. But I mean, if you're using more than three, you're probably having a pretty rough night. You probably ought to leave anyways. But they do sell, you know, more, you know, they sell like a five arrow option. They might even sell a four arrow option. And that's the same thing with the stabilizer. They sell a shorter stabilizer option as well. I'm excited to uh, take this into the field this year. And then last but not least is the RL2 single pin slider sight. It's 8.4 ounces, second and third axis adjustments, tool free knob adjustments, precise windage knob, yardage tape included, and a sight light included. So my thoughts right off the bat shooting this is I love the tool free adjustments, the windage knob, it is super, super tight. It is not easy to turn that wheel, which I was a little hesitant on on a single pin sight. But, you know, by knocking it or something and it getting out of whack and not knowing, you know, that it was set to like a different yardage or something. But I like this, it's super tight and it's really, really precise. The yardage tape is honestly dead on. Uh, I, when I, and honestly, the sight was dead on. When I put this sight on my bow, and shot at 25 yards. It was like four inches right, that's about it. So I just had to make a right adjustment and it was dead on at 25 yards. And as soon as I got it locked in at 25, I went and got the tape for the 29 inch draw and I just stuck that tape right on the red pin there um, on the adjustment on the 25 yarder. And then I went back to 40, dialed it down to 40 and I was shooting darts. So the yardage tape, I don't know how they do it. I'm not, this is the first single pin side I've ever owned, but it was dead, dead nuts on. So I wanna dive in a little bit further about this particular sight setup, why I like and why I went to a single pin. I'm trying to remove my own mind out of the shot. Now the way that I'm doing that with the single pin sight, and I've been messing with this a lot right now, I initially had it set at 25 yards. And the idea of having it set at 25 yards is I can shoot anything from under my tree to 30 yards. But with my setup, my arrow weight, whatever it is, I've dropped my poundage down. The 25 yard at 30 was awfully low, like probably outside of a kill, well definitely outside of a kill zone unless they dropped a ton. So what I like about the single pin with the wheel, I can fine tune to where I should leave it set. And what I've found on this particular setup is on the sight tape, it literally sits right on the top of the three for 30 yards. So it's probably like 27 and a half to 28 and a half is kind of my go-to setup. And at that pin setup, I, it's my 10, 20, 30 yard pin, and it's dead nuts on all those. It might be a little high short, at like the, right under the stand. From under the stand to 30 yards, I'm going to kill that deer if I put that pin on it. Anytime I know a deer is within that range, just take your brain out of what pin to use and just know that your pin is set to kill that deer. So all you gotta focus on now is laser focus on that high heart. So my aim point with this pin set up is high heart. I'm gonna take you guys out in the backyard and I'm gonna do some shots and kind of show you an example of what I'm talking about from 10 all the way to 30 yards with using just one pin. And I don't have to make any kind of adjustments or anything like that. Welcome to the backyard, everybody. So it's been a couple days since I shot that first video um, and I've had to tweak and make some fine tune adjustments even since then because I actually re-fletched all my arrows with a three inch, a bigger uh, fletching and I do four fletching, which I, I think I might've mentioned in the video, but I like the four fletching because it feels like I just get a little bit more control, uh, controlled fight with my arrows, but those weigh a lot more. And just that little bit of added weight, I was noticing when I set 
my pin right at the top of the 30 yard mark, I was still shooting a little bit low. So I have fine tuned and made a little bit of adjustments. Um, and basically I just keep it on the 30 yard mark, right exactly on the 30 yard mark. And I've noticed that has kind of given me the best spread from 10, 20, 30. So I'm gonna move the side in or the target in a little bit closer. We'll start out at 10, move it to 20, and then we'll do a shot at 30. See what kind of the spread looks like without even moving the, uh, the pin at all. Eleven yards. This is my first shot of the day, so don't judge me. This is with the dial on thirty, aiming middle heart. All right, now we're at 30. Those last two I would take all day. High heart. E, pulled that one. I was just about to start raining on me, but those were my shots at 10, 20, 30. The first shot, 10, obviously center heart. I mean, dead deer all day. Um, 20 yard, pretty much dead on. And then 30 yard, first one I kind of yanked off to the left. Still probably a dead deer, honestly. And then the second one was probably a little more realistic of a better placement of a shot. I was still just a little bit low, but at that yardage um, on that particular shot, you know, if that deer doesn't even drop at all to the shot, I'm cutting, the, you know, probably an inch and a half worth or so inch of its bottom of its heart and that deer is going to die. Now, if it does happen to jump the string a little bit, no matter how much it jumps, I mean, even if it were to jump probably seven, eight inches, I'm hitting double on there. That's an example of uh, what it looks like to have to use a one pin and to kind of get your mind out of the whole shot. Um, basically, if I put it on that deer's heart with this setup from 10 yards to 30 yards, I'm confident it's gonna kill that deer. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, again, go down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you like this content. Peace.